leg. Uphill, forward, and sideways. There you go. There you go. Good job. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get to your pirouettes before we wear her out. <laughs> the rhythm up clean. That's it. Come. A little touch up. That's that spot. Can you feel where her hind end gets a little chattering out here? Yeah. Okay, so that's the spot that if we need to keep her positioned inside, then you also need a guarding outside leg so that the inner bend doesn't create jumping out of the butt. Does that make sense? Good. That's really hard for a big mare. Good. Yeah. There you go. Keep it just on a working pirouette for right now. Yeah, so circle with the haunches in. Or are we transitioning? To, like, are you thinking about the canter you want to have, or are you just thinking about the transition, so to speak? Does that make sense? Okay, and then try it again. Good. Alignment. Energy right down the middle of her spine. Yeah, two hind legs, the two back muscles. There you go. Through the withers, the two sides of the reins in the neck. That's nice. Keep this you taking her. Yeah, better. Good. And now energy over the back. Alignment, a little through your right, sit down, a little through your right, push on. Good, so that when she screws around, meet her there and just quietly closing her back to front and anchoring yourself into the tech. There you go, sit, push, energy over the back, she's like, that's it. Good for you. Huh? Huh? The what? Can you both sides should be even? Yes, both sides should usually be even. There you go. It's not that you're not allowed to bend, but bend needs to not equal crooked. There you go. And push. And you can feel how when she bends that she gets that little bit of a twist. There you go. That's better. Good for you. And that sometimes the twist has to be worked through, obviously. Yeah push, that you got to keep having energy coming back to front to push through the spot that she's blocked, so that it's more about that once you get the alignment than it is about you sort of manipulating her in front. Does that make sense? It's a back to front fix. There you go. Good idea. You can get her to drop a tick more. Ask and soft, so you give her space. But you look for her to release when you release as well, not just when you take. Come, push. More. Come on. Come on. A little bit more. Because you're a little bit living in a canter where she has to pull herself along in front. Does that make sense? Yeah, but into the connection, not just tossing your hand because then we don't get jump over the back and then you have to wrestle her down again, right? So it's align her and then add and push on and through that. So it's like squishing toothpaste to the top of the tube versus sort of blasting it out of the cannon. Yeah, good. Blasting it out of the cannon totally has its spot, but right now she's pretty good. She just needs that one notch more volume, yeah, that creates roundness. Okay. Is that why her head kind of pumps a little? Yeah, she a, little a little bit. bit. It's just the spot where she's got a can or a tick more from the middle of her back rather than a little bit wanting to nod. It doesn't want to come through her whole body. There you go. And you can bend left if you need. Bend and ask and then soft. And then when you get something pretty good, let's give her another little trot and a break. There you go. Because I think there's also, my guess is there's a tired. fine line with her about where she goes and she starts to get too tired to do it. Since the first set was so good, I don't think it's that she's being bad. She's like, oh my God, I've never used these muscles in my